Hey, what's up guys, Victor with Phone Rainy here giving you a review of the Android N developer preview. Now the developer preview of Android N is already available via a manual flash flashing update that you can put on your Nexus phones and you have to manually flash this and you get an early look at what Android N looks like and it's a lot of fun and in fact there are quite a few important changes. Now Android N will be pushed to devices this summer according to Google but this early build is already pretty stable and here's what it looks like. First we have the Android N new logo and here is the easter egg, of course the same uh, flappy bird like game that you can see uh, in earlier versions of Android but there are more important changes here and the first one is the way Android N handles notifications and you can see the notification toggle is changed and if you go to the settings menu you will see that there there's also a new look to the settings with subheadings that are quite useful showing you what Wi-Fi network you're connected to whether your Bluetooth is enabled or disabled and you can also search for uh, various settings so you can quickly access them without having to uh, scroll through longer lists. And there is a hidden hamburger menu that you can swipe from the side. And here's what the notification lo notifications look like. You can see that there are five new toggles up top and those are a quick and easy way to get to settings. You can see the neat battery usage um, display widget here that you can just tap on the battery to see uh, how it's being used through time. You also have a new do not disturb option, a quick access to the flashlight and you can expand uh, those settings and the first five will be displayed but the really impressive new feature is the way uh, Android N handles notifications and you can see here how we've expanded our Gmail notifications. You can of course swipe to uh, archive them, you can also long haul to um, get more settings for each of the notifications and uh, you can of course tap on the not notification to get right into an email in this case and of course we also have quick reply something that we'll show you in just a second and um, here is another look at the way it handles email for instance which is quite uh, useful now here's a quick reply option you can just tap on the reply type the reply send it and off you go it's pretty useful very fast very convenient now if you just swipe uh, a little bit to the side you get a new a way to control uh, how notifications pass through. You can block them, for instance. And uh, here we haven't done this. And the animations, you can also expand each individual notification, but all of this happens with very smooth, very good looking note animations that really make the whole experience stand out, make it a lot more fluid, much more comfortable in daily use. And that that's really a big change. And you can, of course, archive those emails as well and clear them all as before. Now if, when it comes to the app drawer it's a vertically scrolling one, the same as we've seen on Android 6 Marshmallow. Now we have the settings and what new uh, options do we have here as well. We told you that you can swipe from the side here but another really cool option is the new multitasking. The way Android N handles multitasking, actually this is a feature that Android N introduces. You just long hold the multitasking button or you can quickly tap on it to switch between different tabs. Now long hold it when you're within an app and you'll see that it changes. In just a second you'll see the long hold it, you can see it changes to a new two squares and automatically automatically goes into split screen view which you can also use in landscape mode and you can use both apps simultaneously. Now the only thing that we notice is that if you're using two apps and one of them is YouTube you, uh, whenever you scroll the other app, YouTube pauses. But for all else, you can simultaneously work and adjust on both these apps. And unfortunately, this is only split screen, so you cannot control this. You cannot make it 70% of the screen to go to one app, 30 to the other. It's just 50-50 always. But Google is said to be working on a, a more con uh, controllable way of handling notifications, uh, multitasking, pardon me, in on Android and for tablets. Now this is coming up. You also have the dual uh, uh, pressing on the lock key to go into the camera. The camera interface is the same and we really wish that Google changed it a bit to make it more comfortable in daily use. No new features in the gallery. It's uh, all the same convenient good looking uh, gallery that is uh, fairly easy to use. 
Android then also introduces a couple of more advanced features like the ambient display that is now more customizable and the ability to custom calibrate the colors on your screen. But for those and more details, make sure to go to phonearena.com where we cover them in all detail. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.